Katie Zeiser, Senior Editor at Light Reading, and we're here at MEF19 in Los Angeles. I'm joined by Frank Morales with Orange Business Services. Good to see you. Good to see you, Kelsey. Good morning. Uh, so you're on the MEF Advisory Board uh, as a director. Tell us a little bit about what that role entails and how you kind of shape the technology path there. Yes. Um, first of all, it has been a great honor to be uh, uh, nominated as uh, advisory director of the board. Uh, my role, finally, is to be a board member, first of all. And I think uh, the choice has been uh, to uh, elect me or to uh, nominate me as uh, advisory director. I think mainly because uh, we have been quite successful in the SD1 transformation, SDX transformation. So uh, NAN and the board wanted to have uh, the vision of Orange Business Services to to be bring into the board and to move forward with that. And I'm just doing like the overboard bombers are doing and I'm getting in. Sounds good. And so yesterday you delivered a keynote and you talked a little bit about Orange's next gen hub. Can you tell us what that is and how that um, brings a value proposition to SD-WAN? Yes. What, what's important is about SD-WAN and the achievement that uh, businesses are waiting for is and one of the main drivers is multi-cloud strategy. Really, multi-cloud strategy is what we are believing in and is pushing a lot of these SD-1 things. And in order to achieve that, what we have seen over the last few years is this possibility, this capability to uh, take the flow, the workflows of our customers and to push them up to several uh, cloud service provider like Amazon, like Google, like uh, Azure, of course. And what is important with NextGen of it, globally speaking, is representing three things. First one is this global capability in terms of connectivity. We have our backbone, MPL's backbone, we have internet connectivity, and we have direct connectivity to several cloud service providers, 40 by the way. We have a strong coverage of this uh, next gen hub, more than 25 across the globe, in order to make sure that we can deliver an optimized and user experience, application performance. And the second layer is virtualization capabilities. And of course, all this is globally orchestrated and globally managed by our global orchestrator. And what we can deliver to our customer, what is the benefit at the end of the day? Uh, we have this example of this global maritime company. She, uh, she wanted to go and to optimize this multi-cloud strategy, having selected two cloud service providers. And despite the fact that the flow were moving from our MPLS backbone up to a direct and private connectivity up to Amazon and to Flexible uh, Engine, uh, she's, the company wanted to, due to this strong security policy, to have the flow secure up to the cloud service provider. So what we have been able to achieve is, this, first of all, the connectivity to the two cloud service providers. And secondly, is to set up the security policy from the next gen hub, consistently with branch offices and up to the cloud service provider, from next gen hub to cloud service provider. And like this, it ensures uh, harmonized and uh, consistent security policy across several and among uh, cloud, cloud service providers. So it's very important and it brings a lot of value because like this, because if, if this company decides suddenly to, to move from Amazon to Azure or to add new workflows to Azure, it will be automatically set up. Okay. We have the direct connectivity to Azure, security policy already there, it's done. And you mentioned security. Uh, I, know, I know that Orange announced this week a new partnership with um, Fortinet, extending it into your SD-WAN services and also an announcement around Thousand Eyes. Can you tell us a little bit about that and how does that kind of fortify your SD-WAN offering? Oh, yeah. Uh, first of all, the announcement with Fortinet. Um, we are used to say that our flexible SD-WAN offer uh, is uh, uh, with a value proposition with five key pillars. One of them, one of these five is uh, the SD1 expertise, the SD1 solution itself. So, so far we were working with uh, the Cisco SD1 solution mainly, 
and we have decided to, to put in addition a new technology solution in order to, let's say, uh, increase the reach in terms of customers uh, with Fortinet. It's a very good solution and it will allow us to address a, a new type of customers, more mid-market or more simple type of configuration and uh, it will bring a lot of value to our uh, SD1 offer. The second announcement uh, it's more about the uh, it's more as well in this multi-cloud strategy, this global IT transformation. Okay. We have done a lot of things around the infrastructure with the next gen up we discussed before and with our backbone of course, with our capability to deliver internet access across all uh, all the globe, let's say in more than 150 countries, we can deliver overlay and underlay in 223 countries, that's done. But when it comes to accompany our customer in this global transformation, what matters really is the end user satisfaction. And we can monitor everything in our infrastructure. Yes, we can do that. But when we provide internet connectivity through a local internet service provider, doing what we call the local breakout to go directly to the cloud, it's outside our infrastructure mm -hmm. and we are blind. And what uh, Thousand Eyes is providing is this capability to be able to monitor as well and to report what's going on in the internet access, cloud performance, all these kind of things. Mm -hmm. So what we have done is this partnership that allow us to provide to our customers. First of all, we can do assessment. We have had these customers saying, okay, I have my shiny seat, site. I need to connect them to Office 365 and Azure. What is the best path? And what we have done is an assessment measuring two types of configuration, one directly through internet to Azure, one going through our next gen hub directly connected to Azure. And the result was four times better performances. So customers say, okay, my criteria number one is end user satisfaction. Let's go with this solution. That's the first way to provide value with Thousand Eyes. The second one is we have all these internet, internet service providers that we are providing to our customers. And what we are measuring on a day-to-day -day basis, thanks to Thousand Eyes, is the performance between their network, their internet network, up to our next gen apps. Like this, we are able to monitor the quality of service for our customers, and we are entering in a, to a, a phase of further development to provide application SLA, to make sure that we are able to monitor things outside our networks, and so on. So it's a, it's a very valuable um, topic inside this multi-cloud strategy for businesses. Okay, and so do those efforts tie in with your comments yesterday during your keynote, the end user experience starts at the edge? Yeah, of course, uh, because globally speaking, our vision is we have these connectivity things, we have these cloud connectivity things, but really what matters due to a lot of, uh, let's say, key trends like IoT, like uh, real-time type of uh, demands. Uh, so really the end user experience is starting from the edge. And what we are seeing is MMNC's large international com uh, companies, which is our sweet spot, we at Orange Business Services, are starting to think about, okay, I have a global provider for my global career. I can extend it up to the cloud, but finally this world is a borderless world. And I need to be able to globally decide on what's happened in the edge. So thanks to SDX technology and SDLAN mainly, we can provide strong wireless coverage, we can provide advanced monitoring, advanced analytic tools, and with that in mind, we can do segmentation, we can expand this segmentation from the edge up to the application, we can monitor the performance, and at the end of the day, it's a way to deliver the right end user experience for our customers. Great. Well, thanks so much, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you.